How's it going guys? Welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about M.2, NVMe, and SATA drives and what all this means and what you need to know when you're going out to buy one of these. So first let's just go basic what they stand for. So SATA stands for, in all of its letters, Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. More likely you're going to see it as Serial ATA. Uh, NVMe on the other hand is Non-Volatile Memory Express. Now what do these mean? So SATA connects or communicates data transfers from your hard drive to your computer through SATA lanes. And these are limited based on what kind of variant you have. So SATA 1 is 150 megabytes per second, SATA 2, 300, and SATA 3, which is most likely the one you're using now, has speeds of up to 600 megabytes per second, or as you might see it as six gigabits per second. Same thing, it's just a different way, a bit and a byte are different units. So these are just unit transfers. So that kind of caps out the speed that your drive can go. On the other hand, if it is an NVMe drive, it actually uses the PCIe lanes in your computer, basically what you plug your graphics card into. It uses those lanes that are much faster to transfer data. So it can the cap for data transfer is way higher. So that's the biggest problem with SSDs in general, is if you have a SATA SSD, it's kind of limited to it can only go up to SATA 3 right now to 600 megabytes per second. Whereas the solid state drive itself has the capability of transferring higher speeds, it's just limited by the connector. So the SATA, the SATA standard limits the hard drive itself. Now if you have an NVMe drive, it's running through PCIe, it can go a lot faster. So it might have the same exact flash memory on it, but it's able to actually push itself further because now it has a faster lane to travel on. So the biggest thing you need to know when you're buying these is M.2 does not necessarily mean NVMe. An M.2 drive can either be SATA or NVMe. So the connector alone does not dictate the speeds or the, the type that it is. So obviously a SATA drive, you know what that looks like. It's that little cable, has like a little L-shaped. That's SATA. There is no way that can be an NVMe drive if it has that connector type. Now if it's an M.2 drive, which looks like that little piece of gum that you plug right onto your board, you have to make sure you look up and see if it's NVMe or if it's SATA because there are both that exist. So if you do get an M.2 drive that is SATA, you're going to experience no performance increase over just a regular regular um, solid state drive that you plug in with your SATA cable. There is zero benefit besides convenience probably of storage so that way you don't have to you know have the drive over there it's just one click in the connector but unless it's NVMe it's not going to be using the PCIe lanes and so it's not going to give you that great performance boost that you want because there are drives out there that are NVMe that can go up to gigabytes per second in uh, transfer speeds but SATA 3 is limited to less than a gig per second so you can see why you'll see an M.2 drive that's so cheap does not mean it's NVMe it's most likely just a SATA drive and people think they're going to get this huge performance increase when literally the only difference between a SATA M.2 and just a regular SATA SSD is the connector type the speeds have no effect on that so that's something you really need to pay attention to when you're looking at these and that's why you'll see a lot cheaper M.2s because they're most likely the cheap ones are running SATA still so it's just a connection type and there's no benefit of speeds. So make sure you look for the NVMe, make sure that the drive that you're looking at has what you want, and that's what you can buy, because NVMe's will be a lot faster than your SATA drives. And if you have any question, guys, please leave a comment below. This is pretty much it. I wanted to keep this video pretty simple, so um, please subscribe if you like videos like this, short, simple, and uh, to the point, and I'll see you guys in the next one.